Welcome to part 3 of the Camera Raw Adobe Photoshop CC 2015 series. Now, in this episode, it may or may not be the final episode, I'm not too sure. We're going to be looking at graduated filters and also adjustment brushes as well. So, by combining them, what we can do is we can isolate a certain point within an image that we really want the people to focus on or whoever's looking at the image, we want them to focus on that point. So we're going to be using graduated filters to really achieve that effect. So this works really well in sort of forestry forestry pictures, pictures in nature, stuff like that. So once you've got your picture of nature, just drag and drop it into Adobe Photoshop. Now I've got this nice picture from Wikipedia Creative Commons, which is a picture of a rainforest. So firstly, press Ctrl and J to make a duplicate of the background layer. So you've got layer one in the layers panel, then go over to filter and select convert for smart filters so we can import it into camera raw then go to filter again and select camera raw filter so what we're looking at firstly is a graduated filter which is the wrong way round rectangle in the top panel so what this does is it brings in a filter from whichever direction you want to bring it in so if you just dragged it in normal you can just go in and it, it goes one key it goes here there and, and everywhere but if you hold shift then it will stick to a more direct route which is a lot easier to navigate your graduated filter so for mine, I want to bring mine in from the top right hand corner. So to get rid of it, it's the normal Photoshop controls. Just press Control, Alt and Z and that will get rid of that for you. So I'm going to bring mine in from the top right hand corner down to here because I want to show the light coming in from this direction like a beam of light. But you can't really notice that with the original image. So I really want to emphasize it. So I'm going to hold Shift, go to the corner and just bring in a graduated filter just to... I'd say maybe about there, that looks pretty good for me. And then I'm going to reduce the exposure right down just to darken that up a little bit. Now I might bring it out just a little bit more, so just hold shift again, and grab hold of it, and just extend that out a little bit, just so it darkens up. And I might take the exposure down just a little bit more, just to darken it up. And I might have a mess around with a few of the other controls as well just to try and make it blend in but it doesn't take the image out too much so I'm just going to have a little mess around with these. So that looks alright for now, I might just drag it out just a little bit more and bring it round so it just covers the bottom as well. So yeah, I'd say that looks pretty good for me. Next, I'm gonna click new, and then I'm gonna make one coming from the opposite corner, but I'm gonna do this one freehand because I want it to go in a bit of a strange direction. So I don't wanna take out the trees too much, although I am going to bring them back in. So don't worry about that too much, because like I said, we're gonna bring it back in with the brush. So I'll just go in a little bit more, and that looks pretty good for me. And then click new again, and I might just make a small one just at the bottom. Let's get rid of that, Control Alt and Z, Z. And I might just make a small one here, but not have it as strong. So I'll just bring the exposure up just a little bit. And that looks pretty good for me. So now I've got three that I can select from or three graduated filters. So you can select this one here and you're editing that one and the same with your other two. So that one there and this one. So we've got three graduated filters. Well, actually we've got one, two. So we've got three graduated filters. I thought I counted. So we've got three graduated filters. I got a bit confused by the lines coming in on the screen. So we've got these three. Now the next thing to do is we want to use the light that's already in, but we want to enhance it a little bit so it really shows as light coming through. Now, again, we can change the filters whenever we want. They are going to remain there. So just click over to brush and you've got a new adjustment brush selected. Now this time I want you to take the exposure 
and take it up to roughly about one and a half maybe it might be different for your image you can change the brush size by using the brackets under the plus and backspace or return key so just paint in areas where you want the light to come in now don't paint per se just click in the areas and make sure that the edges are quite feathered so set the feather at 100 set the flow at 100 I've got my density at about 66 and the size of the brush is roughly about 6 it will vary from image to image obviously if you can use it at maximum it looks better at maximum but it's entirely up to you these settings are not set in stone so if you start to click around you can see that it will start to lighten up or overexpose the image at points at where you click in the green marker represents the areas where you've already clicked so you can see and you can just add light wherever you like all over the image so I'm just going to click in a couple of places now and lighten it up a little bit and then we'll see what it looks like at the end So as you can see by using graduated filters and the adjustment brush, we've really been able to show the direction of the light and take out the parts of the image where we don't really want the people to see. So if we come out of this now just by hitting OK, you can see that the original image has changed into a more, it's, it's more enclosed. You feel like the jungle is a lot more denser and you feel like, you know, this is a small, tiny point in, you know, a large jungle. And if you take it out, it just looks like, you know, a standard rainforest picture. It doesn't look like you're, you're more enclosed in because the light is not being blocked out. Whereas here, it looks like the light is being blocked out, therefore indicating that, you know, what's around you is a bit more dense, which is really good if you want to focus on a central point of an image. And graduated filters and adjustment brushes are a really good way to do that. So I hope you like this in tutorial, guys. Please like, share, do not be a pen tool and subscribe to my channel.